so hello everyone in this video we are going to see the interview experience of a student who is from mechanical engineering background and uh, he cleared TCS ninja and got the role of assistant system engineer trainee so let's start so first of all we will see what all the what all are the interview rounds that he has faced and what all are the questions that were asked to him and how he managed to tackle those answers so the interview for this candidate started with technical round. So let's see what are the technical questions that were asked to him. Keeping in mind that he is from mechanical background, uh, it's not compulsory that if you are from mechanical, you are going. They are going to ask you the questions from core mechanical subjects. Uh, as always said, this uh, this is a job role for IT profile, so they will definitely going to ask you the questions from computer science part. Okay, so let's read the first question now give the difference between typecasting and automatic type conversion also tell a suitable c++ code to illustrate both as you can see that uh, this is a language based question so this is this question is based on language c++ so if you are coding in c++ uh, you can definitely answer these questions what is typecasting and automatic type conversions basically in c++ there is type conversion that takes place for converting the data type of one uh, one type to another uh, for now for example if you code in some other language that is java or python and you are not familiar with c++ so first of all what i think is they will not ask you the question from c++ in that case because you already would have mentioned your preferred language in your resume so mostly they ask the question from uh, on the basis of your resume only but if in case they ask you questions from any other language that you have neither mentioned in your resume nor you know that so you can definitely say them that uh, i don't have much experience with this knowledge what i have experience is of another language that is of python or java so you can tell them and they will ask questions on that so they will understand this thing and uh, this is definitely suggestible that always keep one language as your preferred language so that you don't feel any difficulty in uh, on the later period. So let's see the next question now. Can you declare a private member method as static? So all of these things uh, that are the questions now being raised upon are from the language part only. So this is to check how much in detail knowledge you have of a particular language. So you can answer these questions. If you also have C++ as your preferred language, then you can prepare these questions. If not, then I would suggest that you don't need to do this because uh, this is specifically C++ questions. But also, if you have mentioned C++ in your resume, then you should definitely uh, prepare for this. Although your preferred language might be some other, but you have mentioned in your resume, so it is your duty to prepare it well. Uh, because everything and anything in resume that you have mentioned is it is your duty that you should prepare before setting for the interview right so the next question is how many jvm can run on a single machine and what is the meaning of just in time compiler so jvm stands for java virtual machine and uh, just well, you have to also uh, explain what is just in time compiler so this is uh, also a question based on uh, uh, computer science uh, concept only so as you can see that as he is from mechanical so till now there is no questions related to his branch or uh, his department everything is related to the job profile only let's see the next question now differentiate between copy and default constructor so this is a question from oops concept and uh, oops is one of the most favorite topics of the interviewers uh, when we consider about TCS Ninja so I would suggest that go definitely prepare oops if you are from any branch whether you may be core computer science branch student or IT civil mechanical because oops is such a topic that they will definitely give you one or two questions in your interview so you should definitely read uh, some points and some of the major concepts of oops like inheritance polymorphism and different pillars and uh, what are different types of inheritances constructor destructor over uh, function overriding overloading and all those things because these are the most in asked questions so let's see the next question what is ifdef what is its application 
so if you also don't know this answer you can always check it from the internet on pre and prepare well in advance let's move on to the next question you are given a singly linked list how will you find out if it contains a loop or not without using temporary space okay so this is very uh, important question from data structure so linked list is such a topic which uh, a student doesn't cover in depth so if they have asked you this question so you must have first of all knowledge of linked list and some of the traversal uh, mechanism how traversing happens in linked list because uh, if you don't know that this uh, you can't answer this question so uh, suppose this is a student from mechanical branch so there is no uh, you, you don't have to take the tension that uh, i am from mechanical so how will i answer this question if in any case you are stuck at that time any such question is put in front of you where you completely not have any idea about what a particular question is talking about so you can definitely say them i can't recall at the moment or uh, you can say like i don't have knowledge about this topic uh, so they will frame another question so oh, i would suggest not to give false or uh, another made up answer because uh, giving wrong answers will affect your performance and if you say directly no that i don't recall this answer or i don't know about this topic then this will save time for both of you that is the interviewer and the interviewee so if you know basic things about the linked list and all you can always speak about it and then you can say that i don't know further about it and that will be good for everyone so let's move on to the next question now a person was fined for exceeding the speed limit by 10 mph another person who also find for exceeding the same speed limit by twice the same if the same person was traveling at a speed of 45 mph find the speed limit so in many cases we can see that they give one or two aptitude questions in between or some puzzle questions in between and they might not ask you to completely solve it what they can ask you is to give the approach of that question because it is very important uh, for them to know how you you think in a particular way so if you don't know any answer also you should always give it a try and uh, try to solve as much as possible because these are basic analytics questions if you don't know the answer also it's totally fine just uh, think it loud whatever you are thinking just say it in words so that the interviewer will also get to know that uh, at what point and at what point you are and what are you thinking right so let's move on to the next question now what are the different errors encountered while compli complying okay so you can answer this question accordingly so this was all the questions that were asked to him in the technical round now let's move on to the managerial round so now we will see that some of what are some of the questions that are asked to him in the managerial round so the first question that was asked is why do you think makes you suitable candidate for this job okay so many a question uh, many a times this question is being asked to many candidates uh, what makes you fit for this job role why do you think yourself fit suitable fit or suitable for this job role so you can answer specifically uh, even though if you are from some other branch you you can convince them that i have interest in uh, different computer uh, c uh, different languages of computer that is c++ java python or whatever it may be and also you can say that i am very much interested in the latest technology or the current technologies that are going on in market so you can answer accordingly and uh, convince them you can try to convince them that you are interested and you are very much up for this job role right so let's move on to the next question now why haven't you received any offer till now okay so if they ask you this so basically what they are trying to do is they are trying to know that whether you have gained any other uh, offer letter till now or not so i would suggest uh, you can answer it in your own way it's totally fine but what i would suggest is if you have not uh, got any other offer letter also so try to give a very smart reply by not uh, degree, uh, by not implying that uh, you are not capable enough just try to imply that uh, you have applied for some positions but uh, till now they have not replied or uh, even though if you have got selected also don't i would suggest that don't reveal till now that uh, you have got an offer because if they might have different perceptions about it because uh, 
uh, they can think that you have got one offer so you don't uh, uh, they don't need to select you so many possibilities are there in this case so you can answer accordingly in and in your own way you are not as experienced as this position demands how will you cope with it so basically this is for a fresher uh, this job profile is for a fresher so i don't think so this question will be put to you in many cases so there is very uh, less chances of this question but you can say uh, if they ask uh, so why they are asking this question to this student is because he is from a mechanical background and the job profile is of it so that is why this question is being asked to him so you can as i said uh, what have whatever you have answered in the first question that is what makes you suitable for this job you can answer the same in this case that i am very much interested in the current all latest technologies in the market or uh, i am very much interested in the uh, projects that the company performs currently the company that is dealing uh, i am very much interested in the projects that is dealt by the company currently and all of these things so basically before you sit for the interview it is also advisable to make some uh, points uh, for about the company so that you know something about the company right so let's move on to the next question rate your communication skills and technical skills so if you are you can rate it according to you if you are very proficient in speaking you can uh, rate 5 out of 5 stars to you or anything like that it's totally upon you what is your style of management what uh, works you the most about your co-workers what irks you the most about your co-workers so i would suggest that never give a negative answer in this case because uh, this might you know, give a bad impression and they might think that you are not a person or a uh, or someone who can work in a team so that is why just give all the answers in a positive manner so that your chances of getting selected will increase so this were all the managerial questions that were asked now let's move on to the hr questions describe your hobbies so this is one of the basic question and you can answer it in your own way and try to pick up some mature hobbies and relate it with real life examples and this uh, may, many a times this discussion goes very long with the hr and they try to observe you how well do you speak and uh, how well do you interact with others in this way so do uh, your working hours might be as long as 14 hours per day do you think you will be able to manage that so i would definitely suggest that you should say yes because if you say no you are definitely uh, straight away implying to them that you are not ready for this job role uh, or you are not uh, interested in working for longer hours because in majority of the mncs you have to work for many hours so you should always say yes to these basic questions are you willing to relocate so this is a question for which you should definitely answer yes because if you say no you might get ejected or the possibility uh, of your getting selected will decrease because this job profile would require you to relocate for some time based upon your project so you should definitely say yes according to you which profile in your organization matches your skills okay so as i said uh, before going for the interview you should always uh, make some uh, survey or uh, make some points about the company so that you don't feel like you don't know anything about the company and uh, whenever they ask you such questions you can answer in that case so that's all about this interview experience some points to note that i am making a complete playlist of different interview experiences of different companies from different various branches and uh, if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel and to to see more such videos and uh, finally i would like to say all the best for your interview i'm sure you will definitely make into this role uh, what requires is basically just a little bit of practice that you can do by watching various uh, interview experiences of the students who got selected so that's all for this video thank you